Johnny. What's up, buddy? You hear me? I got you fine, Stevie. How are you, bud? Got in the car, man. I'm just uh, getting myself to the city right now. I've been looking at video all morning, and my eyeballs are bleeding. And you want to uh, you want to chat on the way in, or what, what do you got going on? What else is new with your eyeballs? Yeah, I'm ready to <laughs> talk. Uh, probably lots to talk about tonight, bud. Uh, well, let's do it. How many kids do you coach and how the heck do you find time to coach when you when you do what you do with the MSG until late at night and then as you describe it make your eyes bleed with the amount of research you do? <laughs> I think I'm a self-professed <laughs> workaholic Johnny I don't know man I I always coached I, I coached the entire time I played and I think it's very healthy to do it because you get to see a generation I'm not talking about like a 10 year block of kids, a full generation get from 10 to 20 and you can see what works. Right. And I think it's also really helpful for athletes to coach because the more you articulate what it is you want to do on the playing field or on the ice, it's helpful for you to put that into your game. You're a better man than I because my coaching career ended when I was coaching 10 and 11 year olds. And one of the 11 year olds fathers said to me, my son's a shortstop. And I said, excuse me? <laughs> and he said, my son's a shortstop. And I said, okay. And I turned around to the kid and I said, all right, you're playing shortstop today. And the kid's response was, where is shortstop? Oh, that's I'm like, awesome. Okay, I'm out. That's I'm out. Awesome. And that was it. I had my patience, to my tolerance was zero at that point. So um, that's my coaching history. <laughs> Why is it that so many goalies become such astute analysts? Is it because the entire game is in front of them all the time? My theory on this is that if you look at the uh, top guys, the top broadcast analysts, it's usually an enforcer or a former goalie. Right. And I think we were the only two guys that could really get embarrassed in a game. Either they get knocked out right. or we get scored on five times and get pulled. Now, a, a comparison can be made between goaltenders and catchers in baseball. Again, astute, observant, with the whole game in front of them. There have been many catchers who have become really good managers, World Series winning managers. Oh, big time. Stevie, I've heard at times professional athletes described as uh, million dollar skills, 10 cent head. Uh, can you have a 10 cent head and be successful in the NHL as a goaltender? <laughs> I that... don't ask that as somebody who had a 10 cent yeah, head. Right? I don't mean to imply anything. Oh, is that funny or what? <laughs> I swear I don't. I actually can't say that I know any goalies that are just meat. But what I can tell you is every goalie that I coach, and I'm not even, not even one is not a 3-8 or a 4-0 student every one of them. I want to really send this message home to kids. When it's your skill on the ice up against somebody else's skill on the ice, education will be the vehicle to get you there into the school you want to get to, or it could be the detriment mm -hmm. and it could be an anchor to your hockey career. You have to take your education seriously. So people obviously know uh, or believe that Igor Shesterkin is going to become top flight number one goalie on the New York Rangers for ye many, many years. By all accounts, at least very, very early on, he's going to be a top flight goalie. Why? When you watch him, what makes him so good? So he's very unique because he doesn't track the play as far as the right. puck moving around in the zone where he's working really hard and almost working too hard. Because his intelligence is so high, his reads are so strong, John. He wants to be able to see lefty, righty, who's where, what's the read going to be? Am I going to challenge here or am I going to play deep? So what's really neat about his game is that he's not very predictable to anybody that's going to pre-scout him because he doesn't stand in the same spot positionally every single time for the same sequence. It's always different. When people ask me all the time, Johnny, so what did you do? You know, I don't most times even say I was a hockey player. I was like, oh, I was a goalie. You know, like, oh, well, isn't that a hockey player? I was like, right. no, nah, I was a goalie. You know, <laughs> it's not the same yeah. sport. Yeah, Look yeah. at the equipment I'm wearing. Yeah, it's like torts all the time. For, for the four years I was around torts, every time you asked him a question about a goalie, he would say, I have no idea. All exactly. I want them to do is stop the puck. Like, that was his literal knowledge of the position. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so Stevie, we're both almost at the uh, at the office here across the street from Madison Square Garden. I'm about to pull in. I know you are as well, so I'll see you on the set, bud. All right, buddy. We'll see you shortly. Yep, you got it.